Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Ulan Gaming, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, today I am going to be going over uh, tips, in, uh, tips and tricks that you can do with Aztec, uh, specifically micro-wise, to help you really get the upper hand in battle. Now this is both aimed at new players who are trying to... Um, get into the civilization as well as more experienced Aztec players who uh, might learn a thing or two about Aztec Micro uh, through this video. So with that out of the way, we will get into it. Uh, the majority of this video will be based around the Explore for the Aztec as it is a highly uh, underutilized unit that a lot of Aztec players uh, don't take advantage of to its fullest extent and that is definitely a real shame. Uh, and we will be going over it starting with how to micro treasures. Now this one, uh, more Aztec players will be familiar with when, than some of the other tips, but for new players, uh, a lot of videos on the internet about how to micro treasures only go over things like explorers and how to kite treasures and stop them from attacking you, but they don't really go over uh, things like native units and how they capture treasures. So that's kind of the, uh, the goal that I wanted to capture with this video. Now if we look at this first clip here, the first thing that you always want to keep in mind with the Aztec Explorer and uh, your Eagle Scout when they are hunting treasures together is that you must always 100% have your Explorer target the Treasure Guardian first, and that is because the Eagle Scout is extremely weak and frail. And if the enemy treasure guardian, uh, the if you select them together and attack the treasure guardian, the treasure guardians will most likely attack your eagle scout first because he has a range attack and therefore he will hit them first. Uh, and you need to keep your eagle scout alive because he's very important for treasures. Uh, so you always need to separate right before you enter the treasure and have your explorer make the first hit and then have the eagle scout attack afterwards. The next thing to go over is the explorer's aura. The explorer for Aztecs has an aura that boosts all of those units around him except himself and doubles the XP gain they get from destroying buildings and enemy units. This of course applies to treasure guardians, and because of this it's extremely important that you always convert treasure guardians whenever you get the opportunity, as every extra uh, body behind your explorer is an increased likelihood that your explorer will not land the killing blow by accident, therefore uh, reducing the amount of XP you get. And that leads right into the third thing that we're going to go over, if you look at this clip right now. Right before your explorer kills the treasure guardian, you need to move him off of the guardian and have him run in circles around the treasure to keep close to it. Your explorer and the eagle scout actually do the exact same damage to treasures, they both do 18 per hit in the first stage. And it's very important that when the enemy gets low, you carefully micro your explorer around the treasure guardian to avoid killing it. In this example here, we killed a polar bear, which gave us 54 experience, as opposed to the usual 27. Our one warrior priest on the XP dance generates one experience per second, so by gaining a net gain of 26 XP per second by getting the double XP kill on that polar bear, that means our eagle scout just did the equivalent of 26 seconds of work from your warrior priest. As for how to best utilize your explorer in an actual fight, it's usually best that he remains on the front line to absorb as many shots as possible and keep the enemy fire on him rather than your much squishier units that you have as Aztec. There are three distinct ways that you can use your explorer in combat, three distinct different methods that all have different purposes. The first is the most basic and requires the least amount of micro, and that is to just right-click on the enemy army. Uh, this is especially effective if you uh, have the Smoking Mirror card, as this will give your explorer an area of effect attack to help uh, against the opponent. As seen in this clip here, if your opponent's mass is nothing but an army of skirmishers, your explorer can essentially solo the entire mass of skirmishers unless they get help. As seen in this clip here, right-clicking your explorer on the enemy skirmisher mass will also help snare them, as the skirmishers will be unable to outrun your explorer, especially after the Smoking Mirror card has been sent, which can allow you to close in with the rest of your military, and even allow uh, some of your units to fight their counters.
The second micro trick that you will also probably see pretty commonly uh, from my Aztec players is to stick the Explorer on the front lines in cover mode. Cover mode gives him 50% range resistance at the cost of half of his HP and movement speed. Uh, this does have its benefits in that your Explorer will become a super huge damage absorbing tank, especially if your opponent is massing musketeers or skirmishers. Uh, it is, however, rather redundant against cavalry uh, or shock infantry or any number of melee units, and it also, of course, takes away most of the damage that your explorer actually does in the battlefields. Uh, having the movement speed is also a very big deal, as even with Smoking Mirror, the having of your movement speed is so rough that generally a lot of troops will be able to escape your snare, uh, even if they are snared and have reduced movement speed. Therefore, if your goal is to actually snare your opponent, it is often best to keep your explorer in melee mode rather than cover mode. The last method for using your explorer on the front line to tank is a little less common, uh, and it is probably something you will likely never see Aztec players do, and in fact is something that I only discovered myself recently by accident. Um, but this is by far the tankiest th way that you can use your explore and is generally best used in the mid to late game. After you have 10 warrior priests and a sizable army behind you, uh, you can use this strategy to completely make your explorer immortal. By using the stand your ground stance instead of cover stance, you will make your explorer completely stand still and not move even if he is being fired upon. The only way that he will move is if something enters his melee range. Uh, and what you can do here is if you have 10 warrior priests on your warrior dance, you can switch the dance to the heal dance, uh, which will make your explorer heal while he is technically idle even if he is being shot. And because the scale is better with his HP, this is something that becomes available when you hit the third age and above and when you have 10 warrior priests because that's where you're Explorer has a very high HP total, and it's where you'll get the most heal from your warrior priests to outscale the enemy's damage that is coming in. If you look at this clip right here, you will see just how many sheer numbers of musketeers it takes to down just the Explorer when he is doing this, and you'll also see just how long it takes him to do it as well. So yeah, this obviously isn't going to cut it. So uh, bring in some more. But you're just standing there. Yes, but look at my HP. Oh, you are. Oh, jeez. <laughs> more. Bring more. <laughs> This strategy obviously only gets more effective uh, the lower your opponent's attack is on their range attack, and is therefore particularly effective against things like skirmishers, uh, who generally have low attack but high multipliers. In this clip here, we can see me use this practically in an actual game against a Japan player who had a mass of Ashigaru and Yumi archers, which would normally perform well against eagle runners but because I was consistently using my Explorer to tank in this particular way, I ended up only losing four units this entire game, and it was a 3v3. Uh, this is actually a game I plan to post in a later video. I've also used this as a method for countering Mexico's Palace of Interbide card, which gives their town center a very powerful siege attack. I ensured that my Chief was the first unit to be targeted by having him approach the town center first, put him in standard ground, and set the XP dance to heal dance instead with my 10 warrior priests, and I was able to safely siege his town center and be under his base while the war chief took all of the fire from the town center. As seen in this clip from the same game as the previous, you can also use standard ground with your normal military units to heal them even when they would normally be in rage to siege a building. Uh, because units will not siege buildings when they are in standard ground. 
unless the building is right up on them. And through this, you can actually full heal your entire military using the same heal dance wall right in your opponent's base, essentially. Also, do not forget to use your Explorer's Swashbuckling ability uh, whenever you have the opportunity to. It is something I pretty much always go for, and as you can see in this clip, it is by enough by itself to one-shot two Falconets at the same time. It is definitely a HF politician that I always go for in almost every single deck I use with Aztec. And that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new uh, throughout this video, and I will hopefully see you all again next time. Goodbye.